trees must transport water and minerals to their highest leaves. How does this happen? Interestingly, trees move water by losing water. Evaporation of water from plants is called transpiration. Water diffuses from inside a leaf to the outside air through pores. Inside a leaf are air spaces. Water evaporates constantly from the surfaces of surrounding cells. To better see the water, let's show it in blue. Notice that water forms a film on cell walls, including the walls of cells in leaf veins. Within the veins are hollow, tube-like cells, shown in brown. These cells, also found in stems and roots, are part of a tissue called xylem. Water and minerals are transported from roots to veins through the xylem, and then from veins into the walls of other leaf cells. What maintains this flow? Let's look at the surface of a plant cell. A thin layer of water covers the cell wall. As water evaporates, the cell wall begins to dry out. Look at how water sticks to the cell wall. This is called adhesion. Water molecules also stick to each other. This is called cohesion. Cohesion and adhesion are the results of hydrogen bonds, the dashed lines. Because of cohesion and adhesion, Transpiration creates a tension from leaf cells through the xylem to the roots that pulls water molecules up the plant. Now let's look at how water and minerals enter through the roots. Roots are highly branched, creating a lot of area for absorption. Root hairs near each root tip increase the surface area. Water and minerals, shown in yellow, can follow two paths from cell to cell within a root. In one path, they travel in the cytoplasm, which is connected between cells. In the other path, they travel within cell walls. In the path within cell walls, however, they encounter a waxy barrier that blocks entry to the xylem. To continue, the water and minerals must cross a plasma membrane. In this way, only certain minerals can enter the xylem. After moving into the xylem, water and minerals are pulled up to the leaves. Water evaporates from leaf cells into the air spaces inside leaves and exits through pores. And that's how water can reach the highest leaves of a tree.